What you done tore up, Jeffrey? I done tore up the blades. Which one? One on the other side? The whole darn package come out of it. Hmm. That, uh... See, this, this snap ring right here is what holds it. What holds it in there. And that groove... There's a groove in, right inside there that, that that snap ring goes in, and this that groove's probably gone. We'll probably put a barrel on it, I would imagine. It's probably just done. Yeah. That groove's done give away. There's no biggie. We're just going. We're going to pull the cylinder off right here, right quick. Cap it. And you'll have one cylinder over there. The raise and lower the blade with. We'll get it off. See what it looks like. But that's probably what's done happen. That that groove and that thing's done. Then give away and come apart there. It's exactly what it's going to be. So there's Kevin's with, with the tools. The way this thing works is, is you take that gun, I put my arm all in that hole right there. You take this ring off, take that ring off, and then you drive that rod guide, some people call it a glane, you drive it up in there. When you drive it up in there, then this ring right here, you have to get it out. It's the one that's actually sitting inside there. You pop it out, and then when you pop it out, then, then the glen rod guide will come, will come out and you can pull the rod out of it with the piston on it. And that's how it works. The cylinder's in a bind right now. We're trying to get a little pressure off this blade. We're going to get the pins out here. I'm going to have to move it some. See if I can get it. Let's see. happen is on most all these cylinders on John Deere there are rubber lines that run right there to connect to the cylinder but this one right here for some reason has steel lines on it and we can't run it like that with the steel lines hanging out there they'll get tore off so we took the cover off we're gonna reach in there and just snatch the steel lines off but we can't do that either so Kevin was talking about, about how John Deere was a joke and all that good stuff. We were saying some not so nice things. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. What do you want me to do? Come on, come on. Pull this fish pulling this rod out. Let me hold the barrel up. Go ahead and let's see what the rod right. is like. Let's see if it can pull the piston off in the okay. rod.
out of there. fixed up over I think he changed he changed some settings on the eye can y'all can see that groove right there that's where that snap ring goes is right in there and it's just on more more slide down there's nothing there to hold it, it came out why on guys green earth didn't put a threaded rod guide on there with the where you could put bolts in it like an excavator does you'd never have that problem right there but that's not how it is right Jay nope <laughs> Cynthia said her day was complete the other day, man, when she got to see you on video. <laughs> superstar. Superstar. So Jay's fixing to try to do his magic on it. He's going to try to get us by with that bad boy. That's what he's going to do. And, uh, so the B&G is here also working on Derek's 830 over there. He's got two or three gremlins, and I think Dale finally smoked those gremlins. Y'all ever had any gremlins in y'all's machines? They're those little evil, I really want to call them a very ugly word, but I won't because it's a family friendly channel, but they're them evil little jokers, man, that will haunt you. And I think Dale, Dale just smoked them. I think he got them all in one whack, I believe. Uh, Derek's fixing to go run it and try it. So. Dale's from uh, b and G's uh, store up there. That's where he's from. He's a dead gum good mechanic too. So hope I y'all enjoyed all that right there today. Just a bunch of junk going on, man. Trucks are setting right now too. Later, taters. <laughs>